I heard you've been thinking about moving to Columbus, Ohio, but you're feeling really unsure. You're not familiar with the area and you can't decide if it'll be a good fit or not. I get it. It's overwhelming with so many opinions out there. There's not enough time to sort through all the pros and cons. It can be frustrating not knowing who to trust or what information you can believe. This confusion can make the whole decision making process even more stressful. But hey, don't worry. I've got the solution to your problem. As a local here in Columbus, Ohio, I have all the insider knowledge you need. I'm going to give you a clear, honest breakdown of what Columbus has to offer both the good and the bad. So listen carefully because in today's video, what I'm about to share with you will help you make an informed decision and take the stress out of the move. My name is Brad Winter and I'm a local realtor here in Columbus, Ohio. And my approach is different. I'm more interested in sharing what makes Columbus and the surrounding areas special rather than showcasing just some homes. Your comfort and knowledge about the area are the only thing that matters to me because it's about finding you the right fit. If you watch through this video and you still need more information, about Columbus or the surrounding areas, make sure you contact me. What I'm about to share could be seen in different ways, depending on your perspective. So I encourage you to watch the entire video. I'll be giving an unbiased view and there's a surprising reveal at the end you do not want to miss. Let's dive in. The first pro about living here is the people. See, I've helped relocate so many people from all over the country and the consistent feedback I get when asking them what they love most about living here is the people. And it's always the people. Midwest people are the salt of the earth. We tend to care about all of our neighbors and our friends. And when you see us walking around, we're going to say hello to you. We're not gonna put our head down and be on our phone and ignore you like you might experience in some larger cities throughout the country. When you move here, you should expect to make friends fast and they'll be friends for life. One of the major cons about living here and really in Ohio in general is our property taxes. We actually rank in the top 10 for the highest property taxes in the country. Some areas recently saw a 30 to 40% increase in property taxes with the new assessment, which is absolutely insane. When you think about what you're getting for those taxes, sometimes it doesn't always add up. For example, I used to live in an area where the roads weren't very well maintained, the school system wasn't really that great, and the amenities weren't that great either, and I was paying extremely high taxes, which, you know, I didn't feel like I was getting my money's worth. Now, I know everyone wants to pay less tax and it's tough for those who can't move and are stuck paying these high taxes. This is definitely something you should be aware of when thinking about relocating to our wonderful city. Another con that you're going to maybe experience here is, have you ever been on an airplane and somebody has said OH and another person says IO? Well, football fans here love to spell out Ohio and it's mostly just shouting OH and then again, waiting for somebody to say IO. And it's like they're the only way to spell the state's name. Listen, there's an absolute obsession with Ohio State sports and the fans are crazy here. I actually love it because I'm one of those crazy fans, but some people might not love it. There's a lot of enthusiasm in our community about Ohio State, specifically football. The Princeton Review even named Ohio State sports fans the most obnoxious in the nation. Dealing with these diehard fans can be a real headache, especially if you just don't care about sports. Like my wife, she always says, go sports. She could care less. So if you're thinking about moving here, just remember Saturdays in the fall, it's going to be wild. It's going to be annoying and you're just going to have to get used to it. One of the biggest pros about living here is we have a credible health system. Columbus boasts some of the best healthcare facilities in the country, including the renowned Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center and Ohio Health Riverside Methodist Hospital. See, both of these hospitals are known for their cutting edge research and comprehensive patient care. There is a ton of expansion going on with these health systems as well. If you're driving 315 North out of downtown Columbus, you are gonna see cranes on both sides of the city building new buildings for both of these hospitals. Another great thing about our hospital system is we have a thriving healthcare sector that makes it an excellent place for professionals to work. There are a ton of numerous job opportunities and various specializations and in ancillary businesses that support those hospitals. We have top-notch healthcare services and a strong job market, which makes Columbus a quality and convenient place for both residents and medical professionals to relocate to and to stay here. A major con about living here is our traffic congestion. See, I'm in the car every single day and I can tell you firsthand, there are parts of this city and the surrounding areas where the construction is just really problematic. Now, it's due to several ongoing construction projects. It's aimed at improving infrastructure and that's a good thing for us, I suppose, as we grow, but it can still be a pain. For instance, the major reconstruction that you'll see right now is the I-70 and I-71 interchange downtown. This is known as the split. It's been a source of frustration for commuters and lane closures and detours that create bottlenecks 
bottlenecks and delays. It's been going on for quite a while and if you go down there right now, it's only going to get worse. Additionally, the expansion of State Route 161 that's headed out of town to New Albany has been a big issue recently because they are expanding the highway due to all the Intel stuff that's coming and this creates delays at all hours of the day and it's definitely not fun. You will also find just normal, you know, road construction or road repairs going on throughout 270, which can create a little bit of headache as well. So if you are thinking about moving here, you have to understand that road construction is going to be an issue during your commute if you're trying to get somewhere. A pro about living here is, believe it or not, for being in the Midwest, we're definitely super diverse, which I think is really great. And we're also family friendly, which I mentioned earlier. Living here makes it easy to find fun activities for the whole family. You've got the Columbus Zoo, the Columbus Museum of Art, you have COSI, which is the Center of Science and Industry, which is really cool. And there's a ton of places for families to do activities. Plus living here, I've seen it firsthand, Columbus is super diverse. We have families from all around the world. We have Hispanics, we have Somalians, we have Chinese, Greek, Indian, you name it. This seems to be a melting pot for the world, which I think is really cool. We love celebrating our diversity and learning about each other's heritage. There's tons of festivals in this city. I actually think it's one of the best things about our city is all the festivals that we have. Some of my favorites are you have the Greek festival, the Latina festival, the Dublin Irish festival, and the Asian festival. There's always something exciting happening here for everyone to enjoy, so you definitely will feel that you belong. Listen, there are so many things to do in Columbus, Ohio, and the surrounding areas. Although I've just mentioned a few throughout this video, if you want to learn more about things to do and everything Columbus has to offer, you need to comment the word Ohio, and I'll send you more information in my one-stop shop Columbus relocation guide. Here is another con, and this might actually shock you. Apparently, we have some bad pollution, which I wasn't aware of. Columbus was named the most polluted major U.S. city in 2022 by Swiss air technology company IQ Air, citing an average PM 2.5, concentration of 13.1, with a bunch of other letters behind it, so who knows what that really means. But the Mid-Ohio Regional Planning Commission and Ohio EPA actually dispute these findings, questioning the methodology and sensor activity used in the report. Regardless, this report is out there and it says we have poor air quality. Now, who knows if that's really true, but if it is, it poses significant health risks to vulnerable populations, including older adults, children, and those with chronic conditions. As Columbus continues to expand, maintaining clear air is going to be crucial. We have all these tech companies coming in here and manufacturing, so it's something that we definitely need to do. There's initiatives out there like Electric Bus Fleet, a potential air Mac expansion aimed to reduce emissions and improve air quality. Take this with a grain of salt. I'm not sure what's true, what's not, but definitely something to keep in mind. Another pro about living here is our job market. See, we have a significant pro of living in Columbus because we have a thriving job market. Columbus is home to over 20 Fortune 1000 companies, including Nationwide Mutual Insurance and AEP, along with Cardinal Health, which provide numerous and stable, not to mention lucrative employment opportunities. Additionally, Columbus is a growing technology sector with companies like Cover My Meds and Root Insurance among just a few that highlight Columbus's hub for innovation and entrepreneurs. We also have a huge presence of major healthcare systems such as Ohio Health and Ohio State, as I mentioned earlier, that bolster huge job prospects in the region and they actually contribute to our economic diversity and environment. The strong job market combined with the city's relatively low unemployment rate makes Columbus very attractive for people to stay here and relocate here for their careers and to raise their families. So after reviewing all of these pros and cons, you may be thinking Columbus is a good place to come to, or maybe it's not. My overall opinion is you definitely should come. While we have our issues, every major city has their issues, but overall Columbus, Ohio and the surrounding areas is a wonderful place to live. And I can almost assure you, no promises, but almost that you will love living in our incredible city or the surrounding areas. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn everything about Columbus, Ohio, and to see if it's a good fit for you, check out my free relocation guide in the description below. And if you like this video, make sure you check out more.